Stephen A. Smith is blaming LeBron James for the fall of the slam dunk competition during All-Star Weekend. On first take, Stephen A. said, when we think about the absence of stars participating in the slam dunk contest, LeBron James is the one responsible for that. He's given us everything else. But when it comes to the All-Star Slam Dunk competition, he never showed up. And it's because of him. Others felt it was okay to follow. And that's why the Slam Dunk Contest is not what it used to be. Shout out to Stephen A. Smith. I used to work with the brother. He is an incredible man. I got nothing but love and respect for Stephen A. Smith. I disagree with him on blaming LeBron James for the Slam Dunk Contest. And here's why. Damn, we expect LeBron to do everything? How come it's always got to be on one guy's shoulders? Like, there have been other guys around the league that have had hops during the LeBron James era that have opted to not do the slam dunk contest. Derrick Rose was an MVP in this league. He didn't do it. How about Russell Westbrook, an explosive guard in his heyday? He didn't do it. How come we can't give culpability to guys like Paul George, Kawhi Leonard? Kawhi doesn't get above the ground as high as those guys do. But, I mean, he's a premier athlete. He's a phenomenal athlete. You're telling me he couldn't get creative for 20 minutes in a slam dunk contest? How come everything always has to fall on the shoulders of LeBron James? I don't think the slam dunk contest one is fair. And, yes, it would have been nice to see LeBron in it. Yes, I believe the league follows behind LeBron James, but I think I'm speaking to an even bigger issue that's way bigger than Stephen A. Smith. Why is it always about LeBron James? I get it. He's the face of the league. More times than not, it's going to be about the face of the league. But during the Michael Jordan era, even, there were other guys that did their part. Magic's and Larry's, Isaiah and them, they at least got to the finals consistently to help create storyline, right? How come no one else outside of Steph and the Warriors are doing their part to create storylines for fans? When I watched the All-Star Weekend, specifically the All-Star Game that we'll talk about in a different video, I think more than anything, what disappointed me outside of the lackluster play was the fact that the stars seemingly seemed uninterested, which lacked storylines. You want to know why people were so into the Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum couple minute stretch when they're guarding each other? That's why I posted it on my channel. It's because it's storyline. It's something to hang our hats on. You got Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, these two teammates, going at it for a couple minutes. We don't see that. They played together there pretty much their entire careers. To blame LeBron for every issue in the NBA, I think it removes other star players from culpability. I believe it removes the commissioner, Adam Silver, for any culpability. And let's not leave role players out of this either. Some of the role players that we've asked to be a part of the slam dunk contest – over the years, they've underwhelmed. Mac McClung was a one-off, and he ain't even really a role player. He's barely in the league, right? Like, it took a guy that pretty much has played no minutes of professional basketball to pretty much save that all-star dunk contest. I can't blame LeBron on all that. I just can't. There have been other high flyers during the LeBron James era and let's call a spade a spade. If we want to talk about All-Star Weekend, I get really passionate about this stuff. Well, Steph Curry ain't in the three-point shootout every year. Kevin Durant ain't in the three-point shootout every year. There are other guys that can step up. How come the young guys get no culpability? Zion's barely making it a court. I think there are issues. Look, I love the NBA. It's a phenomenal sport that I'm, I'm privileged to be a part of night in, night out of the season. But I think there are other people that deserve culpability. Stephen A. Smith only knows about eight players. It feels like sometimes he talks about the same three, four guys, LeBron, Kyrie, Steph. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Kevin Durant, that's pretty much it. I love Stephen A., but that is the reality of what, where, where he's at. He's so big. He's such a big deal. His brain is so big. He ain't talking about the players that we talk about on this platform, night in, night out. Um, but no disrespect to Stephen A. We got to spread that responsibility out. I mean, for crying out loud, LeBron made nine straight finals at one point in time. That's holding the league down. 
So sorry, the guy that's also the most important storyline, whether he wins or loses in the finals, what team he goes to, sorry, that same guy also can't manhandle the responsibility of holding down the slam dunk contest as well. Damn, you're putting a lot on one guy's shoulder, Stephen A.